Good morning, I'm Lucinda Kay with your latest local news from the KHQ News Desk right here on KJRB. Prosecutors have determined there is no criminal liability for six Spokane County deputies after a shooting incident in February. Officers shot Jed Zilmer in the intersection of Indiana and Sullivan in Spokane Valley after a high-speed chase as he threatened to shoot officers and civilians. He had one gun in his hand and appeared to reach for the other. The deputy prosecutor says deputies were justified in their use of deadly force. Major crimes detectives are investigating a dead body found in Spokane Valley overnight. A couple discovered the body on a walk in a wooded area near Parkside at Mirabu Apartments. It is protocol to investigate as a homicide when there is no clear indication as to what caused the death. The Chihuacum Complex fire is about 27% contained and burning on more than 14,000 acres. The Chihuacum fire is near Leavenworth and a fire weather watch for lightning has been issued by the National Weather Service starting now and goes through the night. The Carlton Complex fire is now burning on nearly 252,000 acres and it's 71% contained. Crews had originally predicted containment by tomorrow, but now they're estimating full containment by August 15th. This fire started almost three weeks ago. Spokane Mayor David Condon just approved $26 million for new vehicles and equipment for our local police and fire departments. The money comes from property taxes earmarked for public safety. And from the crazy files, a river otter attacked an eight-year-old boy and his grandmother as they swam in the Pilchuck River in the town of Machias. The boy's mom heard him screaming, saw the otter on the boy's head, and the grandmother jumped in to save him. Both suffered injuries. The mom says the otter stood on its hind legs, looked them in the eye, as if to say, don't you dare come in here. Today, you can enjoy the food truck rally downtown on Wall, and tomorrow head to Coeur d'Alene for Art on the Green. 75 degrees in Spokane right now. It's already 82 in Coeur d'Alene. 102 is expected on the South Hill and hotter in CDA, plus lightning storms are still predicted in the Coeur d'Alene area. Choose to let it shine today. I'm Lucinda Kay for KJRB.